Here is our hoist lift for a 2019 JLUR. What we've done is put in a uh, that 10 foot beam there with those uh, sliders with double pulleys on it. And then hooked up to the Jeep, I have a, a strap and a rope just as a redundancy, just in case one fails. Uh, hooked up to that pulley system and then uh, on the back what we've done is use the uh, topsy brackets that you'll see here uh, hooked into a C uh, C clip it's a half inch bar with some uh, this is actually loose we need to tighten that up but with some uh, these are electrical um, connectors uh, we're using that so it doesn't slip off uh, we have some electrical connectors in here as well um, to keep this centered so it doesn't slip one way or the other. Uh, hooked into another pulley uh, which goes up to that double pulley system. Um, seems to take the, uh, the top off fairly easily. Um, we've put some pull tubes, noodles uh, on the bottom here so once we set it down uh, up top on this loft uh, it won't get scratched. Uh, disregard those other hangers there, those other hoists, those are for bicycles. I'm going to have to uh, move those in order to get the bicycles up uh, because the top will be in the way once it's on the loft. Uh, but we'll, uh, the, the top has been disconnected uh, from the Jeep, uh, unscrewed. Uh, it's all set to be hoisted. Didn't want to waste time in showing you how to do that. You probably already know. And uh, big boy over here, my son, uh, will, will assist with getting this uh, up and on the, uh, on the loft. Now, we're only doing this once a season, taking it off, and once a season, putting it, putting it back on. Uh, so uh, nothing is uh, uh, electrical in nature. It's all muscle here. All right, this, this could be a one-person job, but it's just easier with two people in order to slide the, uh, the top back. So what we're going to do now is just uh, lift the uh, top off. Um, I don't know if the uh, pool noodles are going to stay on the Jeep. It's the first time we're using the pool noodles, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But here we go. We'll just lift it up. i just give you a quick look here. Um, so again, this is the second time we've done this, so uh, we'll have to fine tune it, but um, we'll, we'll make those pool noodles a little more secure. I just wanna make sure the top is protected when we're sliding it back and not sliding it on the wood. I could put some carpeting up there, I might do that. Um, and then um, the, the, that 10 foot rail could actually, should actually go back about another foot to the wall uh, back there, uh, if you can see. Uh, in order to get the top closer to the wall. Uh, but for right now, what we can do is um, we can just gently push the, uh, the top back. It slides back. It'll slide back if we, if we push it like that. So I can get it close to the wall. And uh, it's not going anywhere because it's, uh, it's centered. Uh, the weight will keep it, keep it up there. Um, so that's basically uh, the way it works. Uh, same process uh, to get it down uh, would be to just lift it and slide it over the Jeep and, and put it down gently. So again, second time we've done this, we gotta fine tune it, but uh, at least it works in, uh, in theory and in actually practice. And uh, we'll see uh, what we need to do in order to improve it and uh, we'll have more video on that uh, once we make those uh, those updates but just wanted to get this out there for all of those uh, looking to do something like this uh, you know thanks to a couple of you uh, in the in the forum and on the thread that have uh, uh, provided input and feedback on the parts and, and other things 
uh, but so far working working pretty well and again we're just doing this once uh, once a year to take it off and once a year to put it back on um, so it's not like it's going to be coming on and off we do have the soft top uh, that we'll be installing for uh, for the summertime uh, here in North Carolina